excuse the cigarette. Uh, it's now Wednesday morning. Uh, it's about 8.30, quarter to nine, something like that in the morning. I am loaded. Uh, I got there quarter after seven, got loaded right away, which was nice. So here's the load. Nice long overhang. Okay. See? Two chains. Legally, it's two chains in the first 10 feet and two chains in the last, in the back 10 feet. So two chains when you're oversized. Two chains in the front, two chains right at the front, uh, rear. Then other states are different. It's every 10 feet, every 8 feet. I try and go every 8 feet with my chain spacing. There, there, like usually eight feet or less. But with the um, uh, overhang, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna go too far forward. That is enough spot. I can actually bring it to here and be able to turn. But I'm permitted for four foot overhang on the front, eight on the rear. So that's what I do. Nice all chains. Do these chains three eighths, three eighths of an inch links. Other people use five sixteenths. I like three eighths. They uh, higher load rating, and the five sixteenths with those bloody things. I don't only I only have five of those, but I've bent links on five sixteenths chain cranking down. So, and as soon as you get a bent link, that chain is no good. It is considered not there by the DOT, MTO, no matter where you are. But, yeah. That's my pretty load, 42,000 pounds. Certain things you do. Like, if it's bendy material, you want to double block that front, like one up. I'll show you. I have it done at the back. So. Some guys do. Some guys don't. I do. So you double block. Now. You also have two and one. There's a couple of reasons. I could put that and that on top. That'd be done and over with. Bam. But um, the problem is. In Canada, which they don't really enforce, they can, and they can really screw you. The bottom board must be wider than the top. That way it's not so hoop, 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 tippy. Now that's why I put two and one. That's allowed. They don't mind that. Ooh. I got a bent one. Well, I can't use that pocket anymore for chain. If I tie down to it, it's considered not there. It's a broken pocket. I gotta get it fixed. I'll just get a piece of aluminum welded to the inside of it or something. But yeah, that's my pretty, pretty load. Isn't it nice? Ooh, I hear thunder. So yeah, that's an eight foot overhang off the back. So when you turn corners, or when I turn corners, I gotta be careful because that back end is gonna swing out a little bit. But I've done it for years. I'm okay with that. I understand it. You know, you got to watch your mirrors a lot, a lot closer when you do stuff like that. Because you can take somebody's hood or uh, roof of their car off, smack the side of the, smack the side of their car even. And the front, when you turn corners, when, you, when you're close to the center median, if there is one, you can take out a light post because that's going to stick out. You know, three feet. When you turn, I'm four feet off the front, but when you turn, it doesn't actually stick out the full amount because your fifth wheel is set back, is farther back. So when you're turning, it doesn't actually go out four feet, but it will go out about probably three feet or so. And I've seen guys hit hit light standards. I'm not paying attention to my camera, sorry. So yeah, it's supposed to rain quite a bit. Oh, it's a nice day though. It's not hot, it's nice. It's supposed to get warmer though. Yay. So yeah, I'll update later.